1.5 mil. I love it. Yeah, I done shed blood, sweat, and tears for a lifetime. They will never understand where we from. I'm on my way, 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 yeah. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, everyone out there in the OP squad? I'm hoping that you all are having a wonderful day, staying blessed, and being safe. I'm not doing a crazy intro. You know who I am. You know what you came here for. My ultimate OP shrapnel build. I'm going to show you what I have. But before I do any of that, I want to make sure that this is very clear. When you put your weapon up, this is how you see your stats. You press K, go into your gear menu and press C. And you literally can see what you have without your weapon being out. So this is just your base stats with all of the stuff that you have on, okay? Please keep in mind when you're looking at a lot of these people's videos, these creators' videos, you definitely want to understand that many of them have buffs on. Many of them actually have different pieces on that they don't show you. So I want to break this down completely so you can get a real real full shrapnel build okay this is my base stats the most important stats i'm going to show you crit rate 25 percent 84 percent weapon damage 24.8 percent all right just round it off to 25 because it's a 0.8 all right go all the way down here and you'll actually see that my magazine capacity is at one because i don't have my weapon out and then go all the way to the bottom and where is it at okay so you don't even see the shrapnel bonus damage all right this is just straight flat damage right now keep this in mind this is with all of the gear that i have on and no buffs now we're going to go to our backpack we're going to go over to one of our favorite buffs obviously this is can meet you can make this so many different ways with hp on it to help you recover hp fast all of that stuff i use this specifically because this gives you an increase to your character's shrapnel damage by 20 percent we're going to activate this now we have the buff and we're full go back over now we can press C to go ahead and showcase this now. Now I'm sitting at 31% crit rate, 136% crit damage, 44%, and then we go all the way down. Let's get to our magazine capacity, 73, because we have our weapon out now. And then you see the two shrapnel damage bonuses. You get 23% and then a full 30% shrapnel crit damage boost, okay? Very, very important. Now, let's just go ahead and show you my build real quick. I'm actually using Shrapnel Souvenir. You should already know what this is, but if you don't, when Shrapnel hits a weak spot, even though we don't have weak spot damage at all, it will still automatically refill one bullet from your inventory. Obviously, the attribute effect is weak spot damage 7.2%. We don't care about that. We want to get as much ammo as we can into our mag. That is our primary goal. Plus, we're going to focus on maxing out our crit damage as much as we possibly can. All right. Now, let's go to the next weapon go to our crossbow this is not even maxed out obviously i could do the 300 and i might get more weapon damage on here but as of right now this is just me using it all right shrapnel smash trigger and shrapnel grants shrapnel crit rate plus one percent for two seconds the effect can stack up to 20 times so i'm getting a massive amount of crit rate okay so i will constantly have those yellow numbers that'll pop up showing that crit rate very important to understand this now, the most important attributes on this mod is the weapon damage. Obviously, it's straight raw damage. And on top of that, it is going to be damage against elite enemies. If it would have been damage against great ones, that would have been perfect. But it's okay. That means that any elites that actually spawn while we're fighting bosses, we could just wipe them. Super simple. We're going to go over to our long axe. Now, the reason why we use this long axe is for a special, special reason. I'm going to show you all right after this. This is another mod that I use, a shield breaker. Now, I could swap this out for something else, but I just like shield breaker right now just because it lets me just destroy people's shield. When hitting an enemy, or excuse me, a shielded enemy, shrap no damage plus 60% for one second. And this is literally just going to be a reoccurring thing. Every time it's over with for that one second, it'll literally just proc again, basically, if you're shooting a shield. But it should only take like two seconds to kill a shield person anyway. Now, obviously, the attribute affects crit damage and weapon damage. Again, we have elite enemy damage very important now let's talk about the reason why i chose to use this fortress warfare if you actually click on your weapon and you go over here you can press x and check out what fortress warfare does it's a continuous buff it's an aoe buff used by all allies once you activate a heavy attack all right now you can create an area of effect within a two meter radius that grants allies heavy armor for five seconds heavy armor is really good it's basically super armor so you got damage mitigation basically okay but the best part about this is you get a bonus weapon damage of 20%. This is all allies, all right? Keep that in mind. Now, with that being said, one thing that a lot of people don't talk about is the fact that heavy attacks also from this weapon grant crit rate plus 10%.
melee swing plus 3% for 10 seconds. We don't care about the melee swing. We care about the fact that we get 10% crit rate and the effect can stack up to five times, okay? So just imagine what our crit rate would be if we did this and got all of the stacks or just using it one time just to get one stack. It's perfectly fine, all right? Keep that in mind. I'm gonna go to my next item. This is the beret. Obviously, we use the beret because it does not limit you with your shrapnel hits. If you use the special gas mask, it says the max shrapnel hit is one. This one does not limit you, and you can only use one unique effect at one time, okay? Moving on to that, let's go ahead, go to this mod. Faithful Strike cannot deal weak spot damage like we mentioned earlier. You get a 10% increase of your crit rate and crit damage plus 30%. The best thing about this mod is the fact that we get more crit rate and more crit damage. The second best thing about this mod is knowing that I have a gold attribute, which is magazine capacity. Very important. And again, at the bottom, damage against elite enemies. We're just going to break this down very simply for you. All right? I just really want you to understand how this works. Now, we're using for our Falcon Mask, Shrapnel Carnage Violent. The violent means that we have damage uh, attributes on there. Okay, just for anybody that does not know that. Now... Shrapnel weak spot hit weight is at 100%. That just means that we're going to always have that proc on the weak spot. Even though we don't deal weak spot damage, it's at 0%. And I'm just going to show you this. I'm going to pull up this again. Let's go back up. And weak spot damage, no matter what happens, it's at 0%. And this went down again because my weapon is put up again because after a while it actually goes away. Let's go back over here. And we got the extra weak spot damage from shrapnel, but we don't care about that. We just want to make sure that every time we get a proc off of shrapnel, we literally always hit the weak spot to trigger off the other procs for shrapnel, okay? Crit damage, 15%. Magazine capacity, 9.6%. Just round that off to 10%. That's beautiful. We're going to move on. Go to our gloves. My favorite gear item. Not only because gloves are always going to be powerful and they deal with like crit rate, crit damage, but because of the fact I got this right here. <laughs> yeah, you see this crit boost violent. This mod is so hard to get. You will not see any other person, any other creator, any other meta with this specific mod. A lot of people like to try to farm for it, but they usually end up getting this mod right here, crit amplifier. Now I'm gonna show you something. Look at the core effect. It says crit rate plus 10%, crit damage plus 15%. And then the attribute that you got is crit damage plus 3%. It's not a guarantee that I would actually get more addition when I enhance this and I'm going to get more crit damage. It's not a guarantee. It's always random. So I can get any of those mods or excuse me, any of those attributes at the bottom and it's not going to always be crit damage. So I'm really not going to care about this one. Obviously, right here, we're going to care about this because not only do we get crit rate plus 15 and crit damage plus 15, we're already 5% over with our crit rate, which we don't get another 5% on this one because the attribute mods suck. Now, or excuse me, attribute effects suck. So we have plus 15 crit rate, plus 15 crit damage. We have damage against elites. We have reload speed bonus, plus 12%, and then head damage reduction 8%, which is just for when we're fighting like people like uh, the Rosetta enemies or the one boss that actually shoots at you with the Gatling gun. That's it. Other than that, everybody else are just deviants and they just fight with throwing orbs and cosmic powers at you, stuff like that. But this is a very, very powerful mod, and you got to think about it. Three gold attribute effects is beautiful on a crit rate glove. I love this. Falcon shoes. We're going to go over here. I use covered events. Obviously, one of the best mods for shoes. Taking no damage within four seconds grants 20% melee, weapon, and status damage for 30 seconds. Shout out to Chefosaurus Rex. Always intervening when I'm trying to do a video. Then on top of that, the effect resets when the duration ends. So this is going to be a constant buff. That just keeps happening as long or keeps procking as long as you literally don't take damage, which you shouldn't be taking damage anyway, because there's so many ways for you to not take damage. But I'm going to show you a way where you don't take no damage at all. Guaranteed power on top of power. On the top of that, we have damage against elites. Then we have more status damage reduction. And then we have more reload speed bonus. And then beautifully crafted on this attribute effect is weapon damage almost 5%. That's beautiful, right? We're not done. Let's go to the Lone Wolf Jacket because we're going to change up our build to make sure that we get the Lone Wolf set for this third, uh, basically it's the third set effect, all right? But we're not talking about that right now. We're going to go over here, Healing Fortification. I really only care about this because I like the damage reduction to 40% uh, for two seconds, which is cool. But we really care about the fact that we got damage against Elite Enemy 6% and then Magazine Capacity again. So we're going to move on from that. And then last but not least, we're going to show our pants. 
This is where we got Dead Shot Violent, one of my favorite mods. Each crit rate by non-melee weapons, which should be both of your weapons, obviously. Grants 5% crit damage up to 45%, okay? Keep that in mind. Up to 45%. This effect is removed upon next reload, but with our first mod that's on our last Valor, when it refills your magazine, that's not necessarily reloading. It automatically takes from your reserve. So this buff is constantly up. It's a 45% increase of crit damage, okay? Yes, it's beautiful. Moving past that, we have 12% more crit damage. And then we have damage against elites and my personal favorite attribute that nobody talks about, damage against great ones is basically at 5%. So we're just dealing massive amounts of damage against any great one, all right? That's beautiful. Now, as I was saying, it's very important for people to understand what your crit rate is going to be like. But before you worry about your crit rate, knowing that you gotta max it all out and stuff like that, you have to go to your memetics, go to your cradle. You can pick the ones that you want, but get the ones that really matter when it comes to AR damage. Obviously, this one is automatic weapon enhancement. You see what this does. You can pause it if you need to. You can go over here to rapid aid. This is just to help you with cool down when it comes to your healing. You definitely want to take this with you because sometimes you can get hit by a move and you'd be like, bro, what happened? All right. So this is the most important one because having it fight alongside you, which is Deviation Master, grants a damage bonus of 50% against Deviants. Deviants are every single enemy in the game except Rosetta enemies, okay? You rarely fight Rosetta units inside of like a crazy silo unless you go to like one or two of them. And then at the end, you still fight a deviant. So you're getting a max 50%, okay, on your damage at all times when you have your deviations out. And it does not matter which deviation you use for anybody that's wondering. That's how that goes, okay? This one right here, straight up 25% weapon damage for four seconds after switching weapons. This is always going to be a beautiful combo to work with. And you should always switch weapons if you're using different builds and also an ultimate build like Shrapnel. You want to use the crossbow and then swap over, right? Deadly combo after hitting a weak spot with bullet effects, bounce or shrapnel, bullet effect damage plus 25% for three seconds. Obviously, we don't hit the weak spot, but we can still hit it without getting damage from it. Keep that in mind. Stop letting people tell you that you don't hit the weak spot because you still do. You just don't do damage, okay? After killing a target with ranged weapon, shrapnel damage. Hold on, hold on. Look at this. Shrapnel damage is up 35% for 15 seconds. That's a huge buff, okay? That's beautiful. We don't have to do too much talking. Turn from a boss and then shoot one of their ads and then go right back to it. Come on, bro. You get 35% damage buff. After defeating a unit, you marked weapon damage plus 25%. All we care about is the weapon damage, right? All right, we have our upper world protection. This comes from our upper world spawn deviation. And just to show y'all what this deviation looks like, I keep forgetting to show people. A lot of people have not seen it. This is what it looks like. And I'll actually show you the spot where you can get this from. And this is the best part about this. Whenever it says that you need a toy to put near your deviations on the securing units, you literally can put these models down. In order to get the models, press B, open up your tab, go to furniture, go to decoration. All of these right here inside this blue area right here, not this right here, all of these are considered toys. All right. That's what that is. That's how you do it. And you can look inside of here. You'll see that it's actually a requirement to get the max amount of your uh, deviations to get their move back. And obviously I have all of them good, you know what I'm saying? Then you can go ahead and claim that, but this is how this works, all right? Now let's go back upstairs. Crossbow, any spot. See those fours up there now. Notice my damage went down a little bit because my deviation is gone. <laughs> 1 1.5 mil. I love it. I love it. Now, with this build, you literally can do whatever you want to do. Like I said, I have a different type of gear set ready for when I actually want to maximize my damage as much as possible. I just have to actually continue working on it. In order for me to actually get everything I need, I need to get the rest of the Lone Wolf set. And I'm definitely going to do that because I've been trying to make sure that 
I knew exactly what pool to go into and also the best items that I could use to maximize my damage with this. Now let's just show you this upper world spawn real quick. I can't move. See this? I can't move up until that two seconds is over with. So if somebody's about to hit you with some damage, activate that. You'll get your buff from that and then you'll be able to actually go right back into the damage shooting and you won't take no damage. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Literally. If a boss is about to sweep that arm around and smack you, activate that. Boop. He can't do nothing. Get off me. And then you go right back to the damage. Beautiful. So you don't even have to worry about using activators or any of that to keep yourself healed up. I love that. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. This has really, really been so fun to actually craft my own personal shrapnel build and have it different. Everybody loves the one where you can refill your ammo, but I just added a twist to it to make sure that you get the maximum amount of damage without having your full sets because I know most of us don't have our full sets, the gear that we want, but you still get to maximize your damage as much as possible. And before I forget, I want to announce a special, very, very special feature that I have for all of my channel members. If you need help, you can literally reach out to me as a channel member on my Discord in my game help feature tab. Obviously, higher the member, the better the priority is for you in general. So I really do hope that you all enjoy this. And anytime you need to hit me up, go to that game help tab. If you are a member on my channel, I support y'all just as much as y'all support me. Shout out to the OP squad. You know how we ride, baby. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. You know the vibes. Jeez up. See y'all later. Peace. I had to break them chains off me. Chains off me. Got a trillion dollar mentality. Nobody stopping my guns. I had to break them chains off me. Off me. Off me. I'm the definition of independent. I built this all on my own.